welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Chandler T. Era. over here on my channel we focus on everything lifestyle fashion and beauty all while trying to stay on a budget so if that is something that you guys are interested in make sure you subscribe down to the channel and also give this video a big thumbs up because I know you're gonna like it already and if you have read the title of the video then you already know what we're getting into today and as you can see we did a bomb install, okay? And we ain't do no frontals, we ain't do no closures. This is leave out, honey. Yeah. I grew this overnight. Period. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I got this versatile quick weave using some old bundles from Unice Hair. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you keep on watching. Also, um, watch this video till the end because I will be showing you guys a few different hairstyles that you can do um, with a install like this. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video because ain't no need for an introduction, girl. This install introduces itself. Yeah. Let's go. Alright y'all, so I'm starting off with freshly washed and blow dried hair. And when you blow dry your hair, make sure that like you blow dry it real real good because your blow dry, it does a lot for your leave out. So you want to make sure that it's blow dried really good. So I try to get it as straight as possible with the blow dryer. So that way all I have to do is pass like the flat out over it once. And don't mind my tan line. That's why I'm doing a quick weave today because um, I'm trying to get rid of my tan line because I've been wearing frontals for so long. So just don't, don't mind that, okay? So yeah, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a um, like a versatile quick weave. So I'm going to go ahead and part out my perimeter and part out like where I'm going to do a middle part. Well, I'm, well, part out this part because I'm going to do a middle part, so. You guys can go ahead and watch me while I part my hair out and then I'll be back whenever it's time to start them. Okay, so I tried to do this without a mirror and it didn't work. So I just went part it off camera. Let me show you how to back. Okay, so that's like my parting pattern. Leaving the sides out in the back is optional, but because I want a versatile quick weave or look or whatever, that's what I decided to do. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to braid this away and then I'm going to braid the center. I'm just going to do some straight bags. It doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to glue hair on top of it. So yeah, y'all, yeah. this is actually my first time doing a quick weave on myself. So let's see how it turns out.
washing machine going. But anyways, I got my hair completely flat. Let me show you how the back looks. So this is the back of my hair, just to show you guys. And I did, on the tail end, I did go ahead and sew it down just so I could be flat. So the only three things that I'm gonna use today, hold on, let me show y'all. So I got a black cap because that's what I'm gonna be gluing my track onto. I have um, some protective mold. So I'm gonna put this on top of my cap to make like an extra barrier so that way the actual glue doesn't get on my head. And then I'm using this um, brand of hair glue. And then I just also bought some, um, some lace spray and that's gonna be the initial um, that's gonna be the initial adhesive that I'm gonna use to attach the black cap so that way I know where to put the bonding like the the bonding stuff. That's basically what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go ahead and like spray it with the red spray, put my cap on, and then start applying this because this is probably gonna take the longest to like to dry. It says 30 seconds, but child. We'll see. is done so like I said I have some old hair that I took apart a wig so that's what I'm going to be doing if you can refrain from cutting your bundles as much as possible do that but I'm reusing some old hair so it is what it is you feel me so yeah so these gonna be my first two pieces or whatever and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to curve it and I'm going to go up underneath it first. You know, you want to start with a U shape. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back with the second piece and go right on top of it to go to this side. So I'm going to do the back and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like halfway through. Okay. All right, y'all. So it's been about 10 minutes and this is where we at so far i feel like i have so much left to go i'm about to start making them like bigger apart in the back because i still have i don't have that much hair i thought i had like three bundles but i guess i've only used two so i'm about to keep going and i'll be back but i just want to show you guys the progress after about 10 minutes and what i'm doing is i'm putting the glue on the track laying it making sure that i'm laying them on like on top of each other but the closer i go up the more i want to layer it like that so that way when i lift it like this it all covers up and then i'm blowing it with the blow dryer in between so that way it dries faster because like i said i have somewhere to go so i am be back when i get to the top to the top okay
so that is the end of today's video all i did was flat iron my hair i added some baby hairs you know what i'm saying i left and had to go do what i want to do which was go get my makeup done but anyway so yeah this is the final look i want to show you guys a few different um don't mind my bra but I want to show you guys a few different like hairstyles that you can do with this. So of course you can do a low ponytail. It does go behind my ears. So you can always do a low ponytail like that. Um, you can also, let me turn around. Yeah, you can also do a high bun like this. As you guys can see, the back is completely covered. You can't see any tracks. Um, this is what it looks like in the front if you want to let some of your hair down and wear like a claw clip oh my god since that is in style that'll be so cute y'all you can also do like a um a half up half down look yeah get into it real quick so yeah and then you could probably also do like a, um like a flip over method like that like if you comb it really well you can wear a flip over method like that y'all this quick weave is so versatile y'all and i'm so excited that i did it i think it'll be the perfect break that i need from frontal so that way i can get my tan line in order i will probably be wearing quick weaves for some time now because i just think that you know this is so cute but i want to test it out and see how it'll work in the gym being that i have leave out in um so i am gonna go work out tomorrow morning and i'll let you guys know either on my story or on tiktok or something like that and let you guys know um how it holds up in the gym or if you guys want like a two week update because i'll probably try to keep this in for a good two weeks and if you guys want a two-week update, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. But, yeah, this is it, guys. I can't wait to curl her and, you know, wear her out and things like that. It's giving very much natural. I think, all in all, I may have used two and a half bundles. And it's giving, like, a natural, like, if it was growing out of my scalp, that's what it's giving. I did layer the front so that way it can all, like, fall and blend to the longer length so i have layers in the front and yeah that is pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it or learned something or didn't learn anything make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss out any of my uploads and leave me some comments down below of what you liked about today's video and if you made it to the end leave me some black hearts because i love you guys so much and yeah that is it for today i will see you all in my next video Bye.